Well, guys, it's it's a great day for hay, and I need to get a, a new truck. Hey, new one, new trucks and hay? They go together like applesauce and what goes with applesauce? Pork? I don't I don't even know what what am I talking about this morning? Gertie, you ready for this? We, we got some haying to do. Let's get let's get to work. Come on, Gertie, hit her batter. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Got all the grass cut at least, just haven't got it ready to be picked up. So um, we'll, we'll do that today. We got little blue, we got the case 8950, we got wind roar, we got tether. We're, we're ready to rock here, guys. Let's get this all set up and get working in here. And, and there's really no way she can mess this up, right? Like she's she's good to go back there. I think there's no ponds, there's no rivers around that she can run into. I think we should be okay. I'm really hoping she doesn't cause me any issues here, but uh, we'll find we'll find out soon enough. Come on, Gertie. Hammer down. Let's go. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, guys. Tether's not working as good as it should be. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Well, it was giving me some grief a minute ago. I don't know what was going on there. It wasn't turning the hay to grass. Or grass to hay. You guys know what I mean. So, welcome in, folks. If you're new, well, first of all, welcome to you, folks. Good to have you guys in here. Cheers to you guys for joining the channel. Good to see you guys in here. Um, we're going to be working away on Oklahoma here for a little bit. We've got, obviously, some store stuff to do today. It's, it's going to take us to work. I'd like to get some animals today. I keep on saying I'm going to get animals. I keep on promising it. And I never manage to get to the point where we get animals. We never we never get our livestock out here. We're going to have to take care of that today. But I need a truck. I need a proper farm truck. It's kind of number one. Proper farm truck day. See, look what's happening here. I'm not getting all... It's not all turned into hay. It looks like the majority of it is. So I think we're... Oh, what is going on? I'm not I'm not able to pick this up. My tether is not grabbing everything. Like, what's going on with our grass back here? It, it Did it get saturated somehow? Like, super saturated and it's not turned into hay? Ah, the tether's not doing its job. We might have to re-ted some of this stuff, guys. It's not... It doesn't seem to want to turn into hay. I'll figure this one out later on, but... Uh, well, at least windrow it. But man, what a what a shoddy job that is. Uh, so much for that. Gertie had to make a run to the washroom there, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll finish off this, uh, this windrowing at least for... Um, you know what, guys? I was expecting to get a lot more hay off this field. We didn't get very much hay, it seems like. There's not a ton here. It's all patchy and kind of garbage. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting a lot more off this. I was hoping this was gonna to feed all my cows. I was gonna have enough silage here to to make hay and silage off of this and uh, use this for my cattle. But, guys, I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Like, we don't really have a whole heck of a lot here to go on. This is kind of ridiculous. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot here. Like, look at this field. It's all patchy. There's really, like, the windrows are, there's no depth to them. I don't think there's going to be enough here to, to really feed our cattle for any kind of length of time. Not quite sure what I'm going to do for plan B yet. We'll have to figure that out on the fly, I guess. Uh, this was my, I didn't have a plan B. <laughs> this was my plan. Secondly, I don't even believe you have a plan. Oh, well. Let's go pick up this old truck. I got a used truck. We're going to go buy, guys. Uh, it's, it's looking pretty good, but, um, we need a truck. Because well, the ranchero just ain't gonna ain't gonna cut it. You guys know that. It's a good it's a good car to have around, but it's not good for towing much. Actually, guys, I need to stop by the pressure the shopping at a pressure washer for this as well. I mean, our equipment's looking a little bit beat right now. <laughs> it's a little disgusting. Uh, we'll take care of that as well. So, guys, the, the ranchero itself is is really not that bad. But I mean, we don't want to be like beating this thing up, throwing hay bales in the back of it, you know general farm work with the old ranch i mean this is kind of a classic no 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 who am i kidding this is a classic so let's take her easy on the ranch arrow. there's an old ford that's been for sale here i don't even know if it's a ford to be honest just well on the way into town i've been passing it like every time i go to town let's go talk to the guy he looks like he's trying to get rid of it it's been parked there for well the last two weeks we've been here so let's go check on it and see what he's got for us maybe we can make a make a deal let's make a deal right on up here and you know what it's it, it's red so it'll kind of match the farm as well to be honest with you guys uh you can see it there's the, there's the hood perfect leave that there let's uh let's take a look like it's an old an old farm truck a, a lizard 100 huh yeah that's a ford i i don't know what this lizard stuff is guys they went all out on the lizard deckling here i mean it's definitely a ford it's even the custom it's oh it's a custom lizard got some uh some beefy tires on it though those are some good mutters Looks, looks good. Nice rims. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, it's got a gooseneck at the back. You know what? I don't know if I need the box. Hmm. We may have to ditch the box here, I think, guys. We'll see what happens there. And uh, let's take a look. Ooh, nice. Uh, is that a is that a 351? I don't know what that is. I think it can't be a 351. Is it? Would that have a 351? 
Not in line six. I don't know what the uh, the small V6, the the small V8 was on this year. Like, what year would this have been? Like a seventy-two ish, seventy-four maybe. It looks like a three fifty-one to me in there, guys. I don't know. That being said, he's got a lot of uh, a lot of engine paint everywhere on this thing. I mean, look at even painted the battery. But really, in all honesty, I mean, it's in good shape body-wise. There's no damage to it. It's got some decent tires, aftermarket rims, so it's just not the steel rims at least, which really doesn't matter to me. Not so much. The box. Maybe we can get rid of the box. And we could put something else back here that'll be a little bit more conducive to what we're going to use this thing for. Engine looks like it's okay. We'll see. We'll see if we can. Let's see if I can run in, get some keys. We'll fire this thing up and uh, we'll test it out. Oh man, guys, Farmer Jones there. He says it's, uh, he's had this truck for 20 years. Doesn't really need it anymore. He bought a brand new F450 Platinum and he just needs to get rid of this thing. So he's letting her go for a steal. Let's uh, fire this thing up and take a little look, shall we? Nice. Interior looks pretty clean. Let's hop on inside. I do like the old style dash. It's just like, uh, it's the same as the dash we have on the uh, the Ranchero. All right, well, let's fire this thing up, see how she runs, guys. Uh, ignition on, and there we go. Perfect. All right. Um, sounds sounds mean. Sounds mean. Look at it. She's, she's just shaking away in there. Those motor, mount, motor mounts are good. Looks good, though. Um, everything... It started pretty good, though. I was pretty happy with that. All right, we'll close that hood, and uh, let's go for a quick run. Let me move the ranch chair out of the way. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. My expectations are that this thing's going to be extremely quick, but I just need an old farm truck. Like, nothing crazy, right? Nothing coming, nothing coming. All right, let's go. On the road. There we go. Perfect. Let's get her up to speed. What do we got? Up to 50. 50 already? That's gotta, is that in kilometers? No, that's got to be miles. There's no way that's 50. Is that right? It sure don't feel like 50 miles an hour to me. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I think that speedo might be a little off. Whoa, she's a little rough underneath the bridge here. Oh, easy. Easy. The suspension's a little on the rough side, guys. I'm not going to lie. That was sketchy. All right, there we go. All right, let's get her up to speed. This has got to be in kilometers. There's no way that's miles. We're not doing 80 miles an hour. Is this a Canadian truck? Where, where did we get this truck from? I don't think we've got lizards in Canada. I don't, I don't even... What's with the badging? Who knows? All right. You know what? It's doing all right. Let's uh, pull around. Here's a dirt road off the right. We'll just make sure she runs all right down the dirt road because that's pretty much where she's going to be running. Get some speed up. How's it handle? It's pretty smooth. Oh, yeah. It doesn't even know. It's good suspension. Vibra no vibration in the steering wheel. Guys, I'm happy. All right. Let's uh, take her on back. Oh, actually, guys. Here we're... I think we're at 4B Farms right here. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Let me just sneak in here for a sec. We'll see if anything's going on in here. 4B Farms. What do we got in here? Anything we can, can borrow? Hmm. What's he got? Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll give ourselves, how about we get ourselves a full tank of fuel, right? Ah, 4B's not going to mind. Let me just spin this around. Give ourselves a full tank of fuel on our, on our truck here that we're going to be buying. Let's back this on up. There we go. Thanks, 4B. Appreciate that. Actually, guys, I'm always a little sketched out with these old trucks with the fuel tank that sits right behind your bench seat. Ah, that always sketches me out. Uh, that never caused any problems, did it? Did anybody have a problem with that? I don't remember. All right, put that back away. Let's hop back inside. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we'll tank a fuel. All right, guys, pretty happy. Uh, nice, nice old truck. I mean, I don't think the box is... Uh, well, I don't think the box is what came with it. Obviously, I switched the box out. The lizard branding, of course, uh, makes me a little bit concerned, but hey, whatever. And one thing I did notice... Hang on a second, hang on a second. Let me just jump inside. Fire this thing back on up again. Um... Is it how are those like the the halo headlights? <laughs> Somebody put halo headlights on this old this old Ford. Come on, it's a Ford. So guys, let me know what you would pay for an old F one fifty one hundred. I guess uh, similar to this. What do you guys think? You know, pretty mild out truck, but it's in good shape considering it's a, it's a little on the slow side for sure. Let's say three fifty one in there. I don't know. What do you think? Would it be well? Would it be more than a thousand bucks? Would it be more? Than, how about five hundred bucks? Would it be more than five hundred? More than two hundred bucks? What would you pay? I mean, let me know. Click on the link down below in the descriptions. You got links in the polls there. Let me know what you guys would pay for the Lizard F100. Oh, it's, a, it's a Ford F100 clutch. It's a Ford F100. Let me know what you guys would pay. Don't get me wrong. I, it's not going to win any truck shows, but uh, you know what? It ain't bad. It's a good old farm truck. Nothing wrong with a good old farm truck, guys. You could beat the snot out of it. It's going to tow stuff. Nothing wrong with this at all. I like it. All right, Gertie's following us back. We took her away from the taco shop, which we're coming up on right here. Look, at she's even got competition now. Somebody else has opened up a sandwich shop across the street. Gertie's taco shop, and I don't know whose sandwich shop that is, but uh, don't don't tell anyone. Gertie, you're, she's driving with me right now. The taco shop's empty. Don't go there. You have to. You're not gonna get any. any you're not gonna be able to buy any tacos right now, guys. All right, guys, just dropped off Gertie. Uh, she's back at the old taco shop. 
the ranch is right back there. I got to clean up some of this equipment. I didn't tell you about this. I went and bought something at the shop before we, we left. You know what? I told you I needed to clean this stuff up. And I need to clean the new truck up before we do some work on it. But, um, so the, the truck, yeah, that we, we paid a lot more for this next piece of equipment than we did the truck. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool. It's, it's, it's magic. It's wireless. The wireless pressure washer. Does it get much better than that? <laughs> you can wa um, look at this. This thing's awesome. The wireless pressure washer, guys. We could clean things as, as we want. It doesn't even matter. Let's clean up the rest of this stuff. But this, this cost me like three times more than what the truck was worth. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it, I guess it might be worthwhile more, to be honest with you, though. I, I mean, I really can't complain. This is kind of handy to have. I can just walk around my farm now. I can clean equipment in the field. I don't need to, I don't need a pressure washer anymore. We've, we've got the wireless one. You guys got it. You got to get the wireless one. I, I don't really want to know where I'm getting the water. I hope this is water. I really hope this is water we're washing this with. All right, guys, that's uh, that's slick. I don't mind that. Perfect. All right, the truck. We need to upgrade this thing. It's update time. Let's see if we can turn this into a proper farm truck. Um, let's get rid of this old box. I don't really need the box for anything. We'll get rid of this. And I've got another box that I want to put on here that uh, might make life a little bit better for us. All right, guys, last couple bolts finished off changing out the box. This is nice. The, actually, the, the back will drop down. We could put grain. We could put anything we want in this. Hang on a sec. I'll show you. We'll just drop this box down here. There we go. And I can use that to uh, like feed well, animals. Basically, we can put grain or anything in the back of this now. And it doesn't leak out unlike the old box, which uh, would leak everywhere. This one here, we can load up with well, whatever we want. Use this for like a feeding truck almost too. Kind of, It's double duty. It's a good old farm truck. I'm actually really happy with this. This thing's in pretty good shape. So good frame, no rust. Good wheels. Guys, this is going to be a great little farm truck. In fact, uh, Gertie wanted some chickens right off the bat. She needed some chicken for her taco stand. So let's go get some grains for that. There we go, guys. Got our load of chicken feed. Uh, like, perfect. I mean, it just loads up so easily. This is great. I don't need a small trailer. I've got a truck that does that for me now. I mean, I can tow the trailer with the truck, which is nice. We got hitches for all that fun stuff. But I don't need to worry about that. We got a we got a, a box that can fill anything we want. Same amount of uh, same well, the same capacity as a small trailer, and I can use this to to do a little bit of feeding with here and there. I mean, it's not a lot. Okay, watch out for the chickens. We got lots of chickens, lots of chickens. Come on through. Come on, watch out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. watch out. Let's go. Come on through. But uh, you know what? This is just going to be just fine. This is going to be exactly what we needed. And, and guys, the best part of all of this is how nimble this is. For instance, like to feed the chickens in here, I need to squeeze all the way in back to get to the trough. If I had a trailer, you know how much of a fight this would be? This would be painful. I don't need to worry about that now. I can just kind of back on in and drop it off. Done. Look at that. Perfect. Love it. I absolutely love it. It doesn't get any better. I'm telling you, this is perfect. Best farm truck ever. Sweetness. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video from Oklahoma 4X. If you did, you know what to do. Slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, folks, I'm going to catch you next time. This is Glutch. Looking for his lone rooster with 400 hens. Where is he? Where's that one rooster? I saw him a minute ago. There he is. He's right down there. Over and out.